I was looking at the list of items that I still had yet to do showcases for and noticed that I that both of the giant weapons are on there. So I thought I'd take them out in sort of a theme run today for, well, what should be a relatively stress-free run in terms of dead cells. We are still talking about dead cells after all. So first up, we got the Giant Killer, which is a slow survival weapon as you're used to, but it has the great gimmick of doing critical damage always against bosses and elites. And it's not just critical damage, it's like a four times critical modifier, which is huge. It's absolutely enormous. So if you're like me and you tend to be using most of your potion charges against bosses, they're the most difficult part of the game at this point for me. It's like having this sort of thing that will do a ton of extra damage with no like uh, extra gimmicks or like setup required is just a godsend. It is an amazing weapon and one of the few survival weapons that I would say works just as well in brutality as it does in survival. And then also we do have the Giant's Whistle today, which is, well, it just only attacks a single target, but attacks a single target for an enormous amount of damage. You can essentially think of it as deleting an enemy on screen. And that also does work pretty well against bosses too, because it's not just uh, something that's in front of you or like a, much like the giant killer, something that requires a lot of setup. No, it's just you press the button and an enemy is gone. Great for curses, great for bosses, especially stuff like the conjunctivius, which can otherwise be very difficult to take a survival run into. It's all just a lot of really good stuff, and these things even synergize well together. The gigantic cooldown that you normally get on the Giant's Whistle can be overcome pretty well just by taking the the Instinct of the Master of the Arms mutation so that every time you get a critical, you are shaving at high levels an entire second off of the, the cooldown for that weapon. This should be a good run. I'm just saying that right now. And that's pretty nice because I'm sure you've noticed by the last couple runs that I've been doing that I may have kind of stacked the last few runs that I'm going to be doing for the the season four here with all the most difficult and sort of questionably useful items in the game. So something that's just gonna be very straightforward, very simple and just good, just easy is, is gonna be, is gonna be nice. At least that's what I'm hoping. We are still talking about dead cells after all. Now, uh, the other thing is that uh, Giant's Whistle is a pretty straightforward weapon introduced back when they we're doing, what, a bunch of uh, new boss-themed weapons in the game. This one obviously being associated with the giant, uh, kind of buffing out its uh, drops along with the giant killer and, of course, the many, many outfits that it had. It was a very welcome change because, like I said, it's, it's big burst damage, it's something that's instantly used, and it will hit anywhere on screen, making it... Uh, something that will compensate for some of the problems that you normally have with the slowness of your usual uh, survival scaling items here very nicely. And then the Giant Killer is actually a, a very weird item, much like the Crusher. It was an item that had been in the game for a very, very long time, but with no way that you could actually get it. I remember the first time that I did a Giant Killer run was actually using a mod to get the, the blueprint in the first place, and then I decided to take it out for a spin just because, well, even back in the day, bosses were the biggest sticking point for me when it came to dead cells, so I wanted to at least, you know, to see what it had to offer. And it was great. Has not really changed up too much since that point either, so I think that really speaks to just how useful this thing is. It took until the giant was actually introduced into the game for it to become, you know, something that you could get legitimately, but of course, since I've gotten it, it's been an important part of many a run that I've been doing. It's just that good. And although I would like to take uh, Instinct right now, it doesn't scale up very well at this point in the game. I probably want to wait at least until, I don't know, uh, let's say after the first boss before I really get in there and just take, I don't know, Necromancy for right now. I shouldn't have too much trouble with curses, I hope. As long as I'm willing to wait around a little bit, the Giant's Whistle, and especially Giant's Whistle combined with the Powerful Grenade, should make for a very easy, very, uh, you know, stress-free curse relief. But, like I said before, you're not talking about Dead Cells. You never, you never want to be too overconfident in this game. 
said before, most stressful video game that you can play these days. Aside from, of course, Darkest Dungeon, which has that as a major mechanic in the game. Well, I don't know. As somebody that has played Darkest Dungeon recently, as long as you know what you're doing in that game, it's not too bad. At least, mostly, <laughs> till you get deep into the DLC. Boy, let me tell you, uh, the uh, Red Hook was right when they said, hey, don't um, don't have that DLC installed for your first playthrough. And it's like, maybe even for subsequent playthroughs too. <laughs> I do like a lot of the stuff that it has to offer, as well as the very um, classic Dracula uh, overfed tick type of vampires, but oh boy. The difficulty that it presents, even if you know what you're doing, is pretty intense. Well, anyway, I suppose uh, I don't have to worry too much about uh, Dark's Dungeon until Dark's Dungeon 2 comes out, which... Hey, Spelunky 2 just came out recently, so... I'm hoping that there's going to be a, delu a deluge in at least the next few months. And we at least get some news on it, if nothing else, because... I suppose I haven't really been one to be keeping up with too much of any sort of news cycle hype for new games or anything like that, so I never know where, when anything comes out, but yeah, I should look into that at some point. Could be interesting. Uh, yeah, you are seeing one of the major weaknesses that you get with both these weapons, though. The damage against regular enemies for the giant killer is not good. And the ability for the giant swiss to only hit one enemy at a time is very limiting. I mean, it does do a big AoE type of stun, uh, knocks them up in the air, but it's not the same thing as doing a lot of damage. And of course, it's like having a very early version of this weapon is going to prevent me from actually killing enemies in a single hit, which is, of course, the most useful thing about the giant's whistle. So I'm gonna have to, oh, okay, I, hmm. <laughs> I thought I got hit by the thorny there. I didn't, good. <laughs> Let's hope that will continue throughout the rest of the run. Uh, hope, of course. As you know, it's like Dead Cells sometimes has some weird hitboxes, which I'm okay with because usually it works in my favor. <laughs> we'll, we'll see if that continues here, though. Hey, worst comes to worst, I did take Necromancy, something that I wouldn't normally take, but if I'm expecting to have an easier run here, this should be totally fine. There we are. And big boy, big damage. Of course, the uh, final strike on the weapon where you do that thrusting attack is the most powerful hit, and it should be, like, doing 9,999 9, trivial by the time... That was the wrong direction <laughs> by the time that I get to the end of the game. But for right now, got to get a little bit more powerful version of this weapon as soon as I possibly can. And I am going to be taking that Crusher. A Crusher's great. And right now, if we're going to be working with, you know, uh, top tier type of weaponry, no reason not to be taking that. Besides, it's also not like, you know, a very powerful uh, heavy turret or something like that. This thing is normally survival scaling, so I think ent I'm entirely within my right. And bam, also will help out a little bit with AoE, even though I don't have too much of anything to try and coax enemies to get into it. At least it still has that slowdown, which is useful on its own. No, this is looking... this is looking great. The only thing that is going to be something of a problem when it comes to upgrading some of this stuff is that, for whatever reason, and I mean, I suppose it's the fact that this is a very good weapon, Giant Killer tends to t cost a lot more than other weapons. I guess actually now with the rework to the economy and everything, that's not actually the case, so... Never mind. Now it's just a great weapon, period. It used to be like five times more expensive than any, uh huh, five times more expensive than any similar leveled item. But I guess that's not a problem anymore, making it just great overall. <laughs> yeah, if you have at any point in time been like, well, I don't really want to go for the giant fight. Sure, you get that great shortcut and everything, but uh, it's just too difficult. It's like just getting the items that this guy has to offer should make it pretty simple to eventually deal with him. Although, well, should make it difficult to deal, simpler to deal with him because of the giant killer. The giant's whistle doesn't actually work super well against the giant because, you know, boss damage caps prevent like big burst damage down, which is not usually a problem on 
other bosses, but it is a problem when you have to be constantly killing the giant's hands, and it's not really doing... Okay, fine then. And it's not really doing a ton of extra damage to them. I remember trying to take, like, a double giant's fist, double fist in action into that fight, and it just... Yeah, didn't do it. It's like, I, I was... I had such high hopes, but it's like every... What is it? 20 seconds being able to do... Uh, one big hit is not enough. You're going to be waiting around for a long time in that fight. That said, Giant Killer, the weapon should be doing maximum damage against everything in that fight overall. And, you know, Crusher and everything else also being equally good when I get there as well. But I am planning to take this in here. If I'm looking for a nice stress-free you know, high tier sort of run in Dead Cells right now. Why not at least take the short route? I, I went into like the, the distillery and everything last time. Uh, castle the previous time. I think I've earned it, right? <laughs> Look, we still got stuff like the, the, um, ah, oh God, I don't even know. Cursed sword left. What And what if I... I'm sure people are going to be forcing me to do, like, rusty sword and good old wooden shield type of run soon enough, too. So, there's plenty of difficult things on the horizon. Let's take, uh, let's take what few mercies come when they do. <laughs> Keep it simple, stupid. Anyway, anything else to look at? Well, do I have enough money to go and afford an upgrade for... Oh, no, not even close. <laughs> Never mind. Let's get out of here, into the, uh, into the depths, into the deepests, and see what else might come for me there. I'm still planning to go into, like, uh, DLC areas and everything, because, hey, I mean, uh, big hits, big, um, defensive options in the form of shields, and obviously just stuff like slowdown now should make this a nice, uh, walk in the park. So to say, I would consider an Arboretum a park. Kind of? Sort of? Whatever, we're out of there now. But, uh, <laughs> I still just want to keep saying, it's like, don't forget though, I am talking about Dead Cells. That's still a thing. That still has remained a thing, it is still going to remain a thing. Uh, maybe I should have just taken Gastronomy instead. That could have also been a big, I don't know, I just... I'm worried about malaise. That's always the thing that you tend to worry about when it comes to late game. Hmm. Nah. That's always the thing that you tend to worry about when it comes to late game survival. It's, uh... It's a rough thing in that way. But, I mean... I'm hoping that, like I keep saying, this one should be easy. Keeping it easy. Easy like Sunday morning, etc. And where did that... Ah, uh, that was weird. I... Hmm. I feel like I was in very much big danger there. Big boy, big danger <laughs> with the with the uh, uh, knife thrower there, but it was actually totally okay. Oh, well, think of it like this. After this point, I should be able to get big cooldown reduction. Not like the best. Well, I could also go get Heart of Ice for more cooldown reduction because I do have slowdown from the Crusher. Something to think about. Also, of course, the whole, like, stun thing that I have. Not that useful. It's like a micro-stun at best. But it's... It's good. On the on the, on the the giant killer right now. One of the... the I guess you could consider it legendary affixes. Not my favorite, because... It doesn't work super great. But it at least will... Alright, that's what I was worried about, jumping up there. <laughs> anyway. But it should at least do um, perfectly fine when it comes to knocking enemies out of attacks. Especially, like, big groups of enemies. And like I said, I, I do think that maybe, like, large AoEs, I'm sort of sacrificing easy... Um, I'm sort of sacrificing some easy fights against uh, biome enemies for easy fights against bosses, which is a choice that I will take, like, nine times out of ten for the most part. It depends. How, how bad off am I right now? But, yeah. Wait, I'm just realizing right now, did I miss a challenge rift in the first section? Or was that one of the other many runs that I had uh, due to my own neuroses that makes me do many, many runs in a row until I uh, 
always say every single word right in the intro. Boy, uh, well, I guess go check down in the scroll down to the comment section. I mean, it's the video's gonna keep playing. It's fine. <laughs> Please go make fun of me if I did, because I deserve it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Even though I don't get healed from that, that doesn't really matter too much because I want the malaise more than anything. Necromancy might have been nerfed quite a bit. It's still very good. And I would like to get me some big whistle here. Ooh, that is a spicy giant whistle. But to be honest, if we're working with... I'm already getting some big health right now. I'm getting some big heals from Necromancy. There's a, there's a case to be made. How much do I need? 10,000. So that's a, that's a mint, but if I can do it, yeah, this is a place where the giant, wh giant whistle is definitely going to come into play. Annoying enemies. Annoying enemies are, and elites and everything are just so trivial to deal with in this run, which is, which is very nice. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm not going to run into trouble with you know, like a bunch of flying biters or whatever, but like, look at that. That stun, that stun timing as much as I was kind of poo-pooing it, turning out my nose, sneezing at it and the like, all the sort of phrases that, the turns of phrases that I love using. And I do love using, whatever, I'll take the, I'll take the hits from the crystal, that's fine. Are now just so, so, so much more manageable. I love it. Bam, bam. If I could get any sort of I mean, I don't have stuff on rooted targets. Cannot be interrupted is nice, but if I could get like poison, I'm getting poison from the, I'm getting a, a toxic cloud from the crusher or, you know, burning or electrified or something on there and maybe try and go for something like that. Uh, Thunder shield, for example, I think would be nice here. Getting a lot of extra stun as well as DPS by itself. Synergistic potential, as I always like saying. Like I am the head CEO of Dead Cells Incorporated. But it's like, I don't know. I also am just lucky to have a very powerful version of this right now. And it doesn't, you know, cost five times more than any other weapon that you could get at this point. That's a, uh, that is something that I am happy to see. Where it seems like just the prices for everything have been across the board sort of equalized. Which, to be fair, something like the Cursed Sword never really deserved to be much more expensive. But... The Giant's Killer, maybe, I keep saying Giant's Killer. I don't, I, it's it's literally one word, by the way. Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe did kind of deserve that sort of uh, special pricing treatment, I'm just saying. <laughs> Look, it's very good. If you're looking for high tier, you know, trivial uh, wins on high cell difficulty, this sort of thing will do you good. <laughs> Uh, no, 10,000? Yeah, that ain't happening. No, well. I'm not taking malaise right now, so I'm just gonna book it on out. There's no reason to fight everything here right now. I'm doing just fine. Peachakeen. In this giant sized X Men run. I always say giant sized X Men. I just. There's no reason. There's no reason. I just love that. I, I, I know, I've never even read X-Men before. It's just the giant-sized X-Men comic book had such a, is just such a delightful name that I cannot, <laughs> I can't get over it. Anytime I see anything giant-sized, weapons, runs, damage, time that it takes to beat a run. For some reason, these things are not considered bosses, whatever, it's fine. The stunning from the multiple sources that I have is doing okay. It's like, I can't help but refer to them in that way. Bam. Ah, let's get the Crusher down there. That's the sort of AoE that I'm a little bit worried about that I'm also, you know, uh, happy to have something like the Crusher to help with. Even just for the slowdown alone. This is, again, though, a place where punching the Fogger is going to do me good. You know, speaking of other phrases that I couldn't help myself from saying a lot, uh, punch it there from the old, um, yeah, nice from the old, eh. 
uh, Prison Break game, of which I've seen several playthroughs of, because oh boy, oh boy, that is one wacky game that makes it that is very, very good for helping. <laughs> Like uh, I try, I I've beaten it. I've beaten that uh, sort of memory out of myself. But I'll throw down one just because I'm so happy with how this run has been going so far. It's so nice and easy. It's pleasant. <laughs> it's great. I mean, it's just even the crusher, and it's like the crusher. Sure, it is colorless, and I could probably re-roll it into having some kind of wacky uh, setup of stuff on there. It's just. Everything here is is going so nicely. It's such a pleasant run. <laughs> it's a beautiful day outside. It's not. I'm recording this at 5.50 in the morning right now. So if I do sound perhaps a little bit tired, that was because I was also recording like five other videos today. I don't know. It's been a fruitful day. Whatever. Cuphead is also a game that I'm getting into. It's like speaking of... I've already made plenty of comparisons to that two, de it, two Dead Cells in that series alone right now. I mean, the whole, like, having big, big awareness of all of your surroundings at all points in time. Stuff like being able to see when uh, the blow gunners are about to hit me at the same time that I am fighting the worms. At the same time that one of the grinders might be throwing an axe at me from off screen. It's like that sort of skill set translates well to that game. As well as hyper-aggressive super berserker style <laughs> hey the faster you can get them down the faster you can the faster that you can um get to a phase that you might be able to do a little bit better on it's uh it's a lot of fun stuff i mean needless to say that game is super fun i mean i don't think i need to be the bearer of that news usually not the way you say that phrase but <laughs> it's like yeah, it's great. It's just the, the entire reason why I haven't been playing it earlier was because I just kind of felt like I know so much about the game that I don't know how challenging it would be. And that's actually exact. Oh, I, I know, I know. This is like, no, oh, look at this humble brag going on here. But it's like, to be honest, like, I've watched so many playthroughs of that game, too, that it's like, well... <laughs> I kind of know everything that's going to be going on. There ain't no secrets left in that game for me. And although, sure, like, uh, getting the bosses down and trying to go for, like, big ranks is fun. It's like, oh, man, I should stop. I should stop before I get too big of a head here. Right? <laughs> or the old uh, Dark Souls of running gunners. Ironic, but also not that ironic. But also, like, you know, big wink ironic, sort of nomenclature when it comes to calling it that. Okay, come on. Don't take too much more. I could actually take that, but um, I think I would rather have the the I mean, poison is interesting. I don't know. Maybe I can do something with that. Obviously, it's, it's not even all that big of a deal anymore. What with the whole uh, um, malaise in play in 5-cell mode. One of those things where it's just like, you know, hey, some affixes, some weapons just kind of get left behind due to how they how they function on high cell difficulty compared to low. It's just how it is. I don't necessarily fault the game for it, but I mean, at least it's not as bad as something like a, you know, a Risk of Rain 2 where there are some parts of the game where they just completely throw out like big mechanics that are a big part of the game. Though I will say this. There is definitely comparison to be made between Mythrix and, um, and, uh, nope, still not worth it. <laughs> you saw the episode, um, between Mythrix and the Hand of the King when it comes to, like, stunning, for example, and just how those two things work. I still have Frost Blast to do, and that's gonna come up. <laughs> you know it is. That might be one of those ending a little early type of runs because of that. Nah, we'll see. We'll see. As always, sometimes things might surprise you. I love when I see that happening, but you know, hey, there's also that catharsis when you <laughs> predict that something's going to happen and then lo and behold, it happens in the exact way that you think it would. Frankly, as always, I mean, I've always been one to be like, 
you know, yeah, we all thought that this game was going to be bad or whatever, but to be honest, I would rather have a good game even if I <laughs> hate what it's about or whatever. For example, David Cage games, I'm not really going to... We haven't gotten to that point yet. Omicron is still pretty good, at least serviceable if nothing else, but there's going to be the turn. <laughs> We all know, if you know anything about Omicron, you know that there's going to be the turn. <laughs> and it's a big, obvious turn. It's not a mystery when it happens. There's also, it th th was the same thing with Fahrenheit when that happened. Don't tell the second guy. I want it to be a surprise for him. And I want him to be groaning and annoyed as well. <laughs> but like for me, oh, I'm only too aware. As of right now, it's okay. Oh, oh no. <laughs> this is maybe the, the bad choices on my... Hey, I'll take that, though. Um, bad choice on my part. And, ah... Uh, for right now, it's not bad. Like, Omicron, I think, has a pretty strong stuff. It's just... <laughs> oh, you can say the same thing about Fahrenheit. Indigo Prophecy, whatever it's called. You, you know what I'm talking about here. Oh boy, oh boy. I mean, look, look. We're, we're, we're in the Dead Cells episode. Second guy ain't gonna be watching this. We can, we can talk about it. It's like, it's, it's a, it's a good game. It's, it's, it's like a good, like, 2000s janky in a lot of places. Sure, sure, sure. But, like, there's some good stuff there. There's, like, multiple solutions to puzzles as well as, you know, uh, fully voice acted dialogue and everything, which is all pretty great. Can you guys just like, ah, there, there, good. And you know, it hasn't been muddled up with the problems <laughs> yet. Yeah, well, kinda, they're slowly coming into play, the problems. <laughs> I, to be honest, I know it's a very bad game, but I'm actually kind of genuinely enjoying a little bit of Omicron just because of, like, there's there's so much to talk about in that game. Especially as you just get, all you gotta do is just get a little bit farther than where I'm at right now. <laughs> anyway. Okay, okay, okay. Let's kind of keep this nice and simple. I don't really want to get blowgun to the face and have my run end in that way. That would be horribly embarrassing. But this should be enough to do it. Punch one, just to get rid of the curse. Lead the other guys up here. We're looking good. Would like to go for the 20,000 to get that potion charge back. I got hit in a lot of stupid ways there. And I think I... I don't know. Is there any other place that I got going here? Nah. I'm going to be hitting up the... The graveyard. And that means that I'll have more opportunities to get another potion charge. So I guess I'll just wait for that. All I gotta do is just not completely bone it in this next fight. Not completely wang this one. That's an appropriate amount of silence. Let's go. <sighs> just <laughs> in the tick fight? Uh, when, 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 when do I ever do that? <laughs> when do I ever do that? No, I want to save up the money. I want the I want the stuff. And with with uh, this being a boss fight and everything, I'm going to be able to get a uh, big malaise cure. So maybe it's not even going to be too bad. We'll see. We'll see. You never know how it goes. All right, all right, all right. Crusher is not going to be great here. However, giant whistle should be just fine. However, the stun is going to make this a little bit weirdly inconsistent. Yeah, sometimes trying to hit. That's okay, though. The damage that I get out of this should be more than enough, more than acceptable for what I'm trying for, you know, getting a good fight going on. He, her. her. <laughs> right her, right her. Also, that stun is doing some, is uh opening her up some big attacks right now. Good. Win. Saucy boys. 
feeling fine. I'm just gonna move away, away there just to be cautious. No, oh, that's the hit! Ah, oh, dang it! I was hoping maybe I could finally... I still have yet to get the <laughs> perfect fight against the... I, You know, if I just relied on... I still have yet to get the perfect fight against Monotic. But if I just relied on the... Um, on the, the stun there, I was worried that it was going to wear off. Because it always does. And I want to give it just a second. Just a second. Just a tick. And that was my undoing. I hate to say it, but... I was totally fine there, and I, I, it was the 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 lack of hubris for once was my undoing. <laughs> for once, <sighs> one of these days. Ah oh, well, there's a two. Th there, there's twenty thousand gold. We should be good, and I'm um, just gonna book it right in here. Ain't no reason not to. And probably right into the cavern. Why not? This is uh. Individual demons, individual arbiters are going to be easy to deal with. Multiple of them? A little bit more questionable, but hey, I got like blood shield and that's a good item. That's a, that's a good high quality high tier item. Look man, this is one of the few... Uh, up until now, I don't know if we've seen uh, a run have a rating greater than 6. I think this one might be our first 8 rated run. I'm just going to say that one right now. Yo, if this is the first episode that somebody's watching, don't tell. <laughs> don't tell them that makes no sense. <laughs> okay. I don't know, I just thought about that for five seconds, and this is what happens when I record at 6 a.m. <laughs> it's stupid. <laughs> I mean, I, to be fair, I'm used to being up at 6 a.m., which is not make, which is not better. <laughs> don't, why did I say that like that was a better thing? <laughs> Look, time and quarantine makes fools of us all. Let's go. Anything? Nah. Curse chest should still be nice and easy to deal with with this current setup, but, you know. It's still... <laughs> I'm going to say it again. It's still dead cells. You don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, one of the things that I've said quite a bit in the past that I have not said for a while is that it's like, usually when somebody, you know, you're, you're, you're like somebody who is known for playing a game, especially like a roguelite, roguelike type of thing. Usually, that sort of person has like a 99% win rate. If you know your way around the game, you are probably likely to win pretty much any run that you're doing unless things are really stacked against you. <laughs> Not so with Dead Cells. I still have like a, what, 75% win rate over the course of the series or something. I know, sure, yeah, I could be, like, taking much better items, but it's like, even after a thousand hours, oh boy, it's, this game is very difficult, and extremely unforgiving. And people be like, uh, you know, hey, I mean, I've just beaten the game for the first time, but it's not really all that, that's not really that impressive, it's like, no, Dead Cells is super hard! Even beating Zero Cell mode is quite the accomplishment, I'd say. You can get up to, like, two cell mode, you're better than, like, 99% of people playing this. Certainly, if you did so in less than, like, 100 hours, you're doing better than me. <laughs> oh, boy. You can go back and watch the first time that they introduced cell difficulty. I did a... You know, speaking of the other guy that I'm doing a Omicron with right now, I did a... The first run I did, I called it Ultra Hard Mode. And oh boy, if you like bad quality streams and old, uh, you know, people that seemingly know what they're doing at this point, but watching the old when they definitely did not know what they were doing videos of theirs, <laughs> that's a good one for that. <laughs> oh, but oh boy, man, when they first introduced a cell difficulty, that was back when it was what, Boss Sigils? Boss. Emblems? I can't remember. It wasn't even cells immediately. Come on, get in here. Make this easier for me. Cool. <laughs> uh, kind of maybe put me in a bad position right there in case uh, I didn't actually kill that enemy. 
after they flew over my crusher and would not definitely not get back to being in range of it, but it's okay. Oh boy, oh boy. Ah, boomerang. Already done you. <laughs> That's also probably another one I would have saved for near the end just because I, you know, let's be honest, the run where I got the double boomerang was kind of what I was hoping to happen for a boomerang based run. <laughs> and it did. And that's why I had to, you know, nix the broadsword run. But I think it was worth it. You know what? I'm not going to say I think it was worth it. It was worth it. That was a good run. And we got the broadsword run eventually anyway. It's cool. There we go. By the way, speaking of good runs, man, this one's going great. This is everything I was hoping for. I hope I don't die, die to a curse. <laughs> Let's see. Ah! Yeah. I didn't get rid of stuns. I just didn't hit him uh, fast enough. At the end of the day, this is still a slow weapon. Don't you forget it. As much as I might. Get right in there and be like, I'll probably be fine. I'm invincible. I got a good run going in Dead Cells. And, and after I was just talking about how good a run is subjective in games. And a good run in Dead Cells doesn't necessarily mean it's a total lock. I mean, there's still a lot of... The skill ceiling for this game is extremely high. Which is... Good! Certainly makes it, certainly makes this still a pretty entertaining game to watch, I'd like to say, but who oh boy! Who oh boy! Ah! Oh, come on! Ah! Oh, don't make me have to use my potion. I'm gonna have to use the potion charge. I, c I can let... Okay, here's the thing. I could let, um... I could let my, um... Uh, God, what, what what is it called? Necromancy kind of take care of it. And it will get up to 50%, but I don't know. Is it worth it? Probably? Ah, screw it. Just do it anyway. Let's, let's not play dice. The run's been going great so far. There's no reason to start to... Again, the, the hubris... My, uh, the lack of hubris might have been my uh, downfall earlier, but I don't think he, being more hubristic is the answer. Cool. Also, I'm going to guess right now, directly to the right of me is probably the curse chest. So, look forward to that uh, comedy of errors, depending on how this goes. Oh, no. Just this. And which, you know, hey, nice. And I do like bleed propagation. I already have that, though. Surprisingly enough. I haven't been parrying enough to really get a lot of usage out of it. Still gotta go find that curse chest, though. You know how it'd be sepulcher, nice and everything. Could probably go into the sepulcher. I mean, both ways. All roads lead to giant at this point, but... Nah, I don't know. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Uh, uh, look, I'm fine. We're doing a... We're doing a survival run. Got health... Whoa, that's... Might even be better than Giant Killer. And also synergizes well with the Crusher, but, you know. <laughs> not the run. Not the run. I've already done that one. Also, you know, speaking of top tier, speaking of rank 8 items. That's one of them. <laughs> anyway. Yep. Oh, come on. <laughs> ah, rock in a hard place, eh? It's okay. Ah. Got stuck on the wall. <sighs> Every time, it's it's the choke master. It's the choke master. I'm telling you. I'm always ready to look for a way to end this run, regardless of how well it's been going. You're not survival scaling anymore, so get out of here. Not that I'd be using it anyway. <sighs> okay. Not as many enemies around here as I thought. I'm getting. And well, I suppose I can take care of some of the stragglers. Uh, gonna be running around quite a bit anyway. Um, can oh, it's uh, one of the zombies that's going to rise up out of the ground. Yeah, maybe don't want to deal with those things. Those things are annoying if you don't kill them immediately, and then you get the biters even if you do. But they are bad, 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 bad news for 
bad, bad, bad news for fighting. Um, whilst cursed, having big curse, <laughs> which I definitely do right now. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna chill. I'm just gonna chill. I'm gonna wait. Again, I'm, uh, as soon as I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Giant hits anywhere on the screen. So even if they're covered up by UI elements and everything, bam, does not matter. Good. Six left, but as long as I don't fall into the lava, which, oh boy, what a death that would be. I should be okay. Whoever thought that I was going to fall into the lava, you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> I didn't. I'm not that bad at the game. Come on. All right, let's get out here. Uh, to be honest, I am seriously considering maybe switching out my stuff. Going for a little bit of a different route right now. Hard advice with the slow down. Uh, uh, gastronomy, I think, is what I want to go for. Maybe blind faith? Well, obviously still going to take the uh, instinct. I think that just synergizes very well. No, but mask is. Make sure they're not going to be dying to any sort of uh, unfortunate happenstances. <laughs> Well, provide that I can get rid of this curse. There shouldn't be any more curses that appear here unless I get very, uh, quote-unquote, lucky in the cavern. <laughs> we'll see, though. We'll see. I mean, the the phrase of the episode is, we are talking about dead cells, after all. <laughs> the game does not intentionally have a sense of humor, but sometimes the RNG aligns to make it seem so anyway. Let me take this easy. I'm going to put my money where my uh, point of light in the middle of my face is. And I am going to use the giant whistle as I advertised it. An easy way to take care of curses. Which this should be exactly that. We're going to hang out for a while. Get to know each other, I like to say. You know, just take a little bit closer look. It's like, man... <laughs> One of the things I always really like about the uh, giant uh, outfit is that big exposed vertebrae in the middle there. It's a good look. <laughs> and you can just switch bodies at will. Oh. No? Didn't notice me. Just switch bodies at will. It's like, why not get kind of wacky with it, you know? That's what I say. <sighs> I don't know if necessarily the giant wears this sort of coloring, though. I think this might be uh, Dead Cells guy's uh, own flourish on the the outfit, you know? Anyway, two left. Should make this nice and easy. This is not how I usually like to play this game. But again, money where the mouth is. Money where the mouth is. This is what I was talking about, and this is going to make it so that we're going to have a nice, smooth save right to the end, is what I say. Ain't nobody going to say that this... Wait, would you rather do an entire separate run? I don't know. Maybe you would. Uh, but me, I'm just like, it's 6 a.m. right now. i got to go to work in two hours. <laughs> and by go to work, I mean, you know, to log into my computer and see if there's anything i got to do, at least right now. Well, there should be thinking about it right now. This is, again, I should... It, 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 shut up, me. <laughs> doing a video game right now. Ah. Well, this is why gastronomy is going to be quite useful. Trust me. And there's also some good usage out of... Well, that's also why I didn't want to go in there well cursed. <laughs> I knew something like that was going to happen. It usually does. <laughs> also, I do think at this point in time, this is kind of like... Prime example of issues of issues coming up with uh, trying to go for very boss um, killing friendly, enemy killing unfriendly type of build. Well, enemy killing unfriendly unless I got the. Uh... Oh, come on now. There we go. At least I rallied up most of that. Uh, unless I'm trying to, you know, unless I have the, the whistle off a of cooldown. As you do. As you often do in Dead Cells, you have the whistle off cool down. Anyway. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hmm. Worth taking? Let's take a look. That's one powerful Thunder Shield, baby. I'll take it. 
as much as I do like um as much as I do like a good high quality blood shield, it's like this one's this is like a Thunder Shield 12, man. Got that from a, an elite? That's like even more powerful than what you would normally get here. That's like a five cell spoiler area levels of uh good items, if I do say so myself, and I did. Hey. There we go. Besides, the um, the constant AoE, I think, is going to be very nice. Even compared to the blood. Bruh. Okay. Slowly, carefully, this is how the life is taken. Good and good. Yeah. I sh I'm, I'm, I'm playing a little bit uh, carefree right now. It's okay. Ah, you know what? I'm not even going to worry. Those things don't teleport to me, so it doesn't matter. Anyway. They're not one of the very special ones that do actually teleport to you. Would it be worth it? Well, you know, I've actually been using a vase level version of the Giant Whistle the entire time, right? which I didn't even think about until right now. Like, this would be about the point in time for an upgrade. Unfortunately, not happening. Ah, too bad. There's more opportunities where that come, came from, though. Don't even worry about it. I'm oh, sure just getting a little bit of extra money. I'm also only at, like... You know, I'm, I'm looking right now. I'm also only at, like, 20 survival, which uh, normally I would expect to be at least a little bit higher. Huh. Again, speaks well to how powerful this weapon is. <laughs> how powerful this combination is. It's, uh... Low stats, no problem. Low stats, low upgrades? Not even... Don't even fret, my dude. You're doing just fine. <laughs> Good. That makes me happy. Okay, uh... Nothing else to do here, I guess. Which is weird. Hmm. I don't know, usually don't see, like, a this setup in the cavern. Well, anyway, let's get over to the other area. Ah. If it drops a necklace. There we go. Yeah. Also invisibility, but let's, you know. Not, if you don't tell anybody, I won't. Wink. Big wink. Okay. Get down here. Get on with it. Because there shouldn't be too much else that I really need to do to uh, kind of prep up for everything. Also, I think even right now I would be willing to take infected food because, you know, I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, I'm going to use a potion charge if I don't find anything anyway, so why not? Hmm? Hmm. Well, kind of softened about maybe a little bit more than I need to, but that's fine. Yoink! Let's go! I am looking good. I was hoping that it was going to be another uh, accessories at skill shop because that was, I guess you could kind of consider them the same thing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's like, th that's, that's exactly what I needed. Mm, big damage from the shield there too. God, this is a, this is a good high quality run <laughs> right now. Yeah. Ooh. You want to go take this real quick, though. Still worried a little bit about uh, low statage. It should, should do something about that, but... Like, I guess really... Got it. And one of the few times... Those things not the most useful. It's fun to actually nail it, though. When you can. Okay. You get down here, too, and then we'll get the three for. All right, let's go. Maybe I should go back and get one of the uh, crusher upgrades or something. I don't remember if it hits consistently in the giant fight, but it would certainly be, have opportunities to hit. And besides, the rest of the, the run is going just fine anyway. I don't really necessarily need to have the... Crusher. The Crusher is not doesn't have a whole lot of weight on its back, despite the. It's not, it's not carrying the weight of the world, despite the uh, powerful nature of it. 
like so many other things are. There. So many other things are so good in this run already. All right. In the meantime, I do think uh, we are looking at using a potion charge at this point in time. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get around that. We're still going to try, but I don't know if it's going to work. We'll see. 26. Now that's much better. Go give me a um, necklace with like four survival on there. If it's not too much for you dead cells. Okay, fine. Fair, fair. I'm mean, asking for a little bit too much here. Looking good. No, yeah, the invisibility. Whatever. It's not... Look, invisibility, as much as I make a big deal out of it, it's like I rarely ever actually use it. <laughs> let's be... Let's be honest with ourselves here. Oh. Well, what do you got? Because I would willing to look for an upgrade if that happened to show up and it did not all right let's finish this up because i do not think it is going to be too difficult from this point <laughs> at least at this rate sure 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 yeah the potion charge i know two potions down etc well which i'm gonna do right now but it's fine this, is, this should work out just fine in my favor, I'd like to say. And I'd like to say, but I guess I can't really say until it happens. Bam, let's go. So as you can see there, it's like, yeah. Not as much damage as you would hope for from that, especially for the big cooldown that it has. But really, it's like that's why I got so many other great things happening here. And yes, you can have a maximum of four giant arms appearing at the same time in this fight. It's pretty weird looking when it happens. It's not a common thing. You would need to get like a legendary version of it for that to happen, but... It's possible. Works pretty well against the eye, though, but, you know. A lot of things work pretty well against the eye, to be honest. Just make sure that you're not in the middle of attacking when he is attacking. Otherwise, you will be sad. <laughs> hmm. Slow weapons, of course, always have that sort of problem with them. Oh, not the one I was hoping for. Come on. There you go. <laughs> that was enough. All right. Yep. Like I said, it's like, just because Giant Whistle is not super great doesn't mean that it doesn't have any uses. It just means that uh, you don't want to rely on it solely for your damage. Unlike, say, the Conjunctivious fight, where you can. Like, it does a real number on the Conjunctivious. Not quite the same thing here, though. All right. Looking pretty good right now. Should be able to at least get one more potion charge, too, which is going to be nice. So if I do really wang something here, I'll still probably be okay. <laughs> I hope I don't, but come on. I'll, I'll say it if I need to. All right. Here, though, Giant Whistle and Giant Killer should be uh, pulling over time, no problem. Also, Crusher. You know, really everything. Everything is going to be fun. Mm -hmm. Minimal stun timing, though, is not great. Okay, well. Ah, you know what? Just to be sure. Mm hmm. Perry has just been so garbage as of late against this guy. Mm 
There we go. Oh, man, I actually... Well, I should actually be able to rally up. Oh, I think I got the um, enemy to fall on top of the hand of the king, which is always a fun um, fun way to... Fun strategy if you can actually get it to work. Doesn't happen often. But is fun anyway. There we go. Being that the giant and the hand of the king don't really like each other, I think that's a fitting way to go out. <laughs> That is lore. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, yeah, I know. I might not be, like, looking the best, but... I wanted to go for a fast fight there. I don't know. <laughs> Felt like it. Also, I miss parries. So, yeah. That will... That'll also do it. <laughs> that will do it. All right. Let's get in here, and then... Especially with, like reduce trap damage which would otherwise be pretty annoying I should be able to do okay <laughs> alright in the meantime uh, as soon as I can find the, the food shop the sooner I can find the food shop the better though is another thing though good um can probably also just no that works uh whatever works man <laughs> it's all cool are you? Come on. Come on now. Don't do that to me. Yes, do that to me instead. You know the stuff I like. Boy, I'm still very glad they got a, uh, a consistent food shop in the Astrolab now. That was, that was one of those things that could really make or break a run when it was uh, more questionable. Now this is about the point in time that I really do actually want to, really him yeah. uh, that I do actually want to have the giant's whistle up because nothing else I have here is super good at dealing with librarians. Giant whistle will take them out no problem, provided the giant sees them as a threat. But I shouldn't be relying on that if I can. Eh, let's get that first. I'll. Probably get enough uh, d d money for a potion charge if necessary. If not, that eh, should be fine. I'm feeling pretty good regardless. I, I, I think it's very unlikely that that happens anyway. That's yeah, not just being being a little bit too overconfident. There. And anything else that I want to? Oh boy. Double librarian action. Not who I would have chosen. Come on now. There we go. Ah, would have been difficult to take out even if I did have the uh, the giant whistle up there, though. So I guess it's fine. Yep, that's who I would consider. I mean, the giant can be a little bit persnickety in who he decides to throw the fist down onto, but... Mostly, it's the one you want to see die. <laughs> Mostly. Sometimes it can be not the librarian, but you know. Often, it is the more important character that you see around there. I have no idea how Motion Twin decides that, but probably whoever has the most health, if I was going to guess. <sighs> Nothing. Final chest of the game. We get nothing. I swear, every single... It's supposed to be like a flat 15% chance or so, something of that happening. Hmm. Come on, get over here, you. There. Eh. Take it. Well, this shouldn't be too much of an issue. I hope. Like, oh boy, if it is, then it's like, I made a lot of mistakes in this run. I mean, I did, I guess, but in service of it being a pretty simple, nice, easy, fast run. Nice, easy, fast, simple, simple, easy, fast run. Run simple, fast run, easy, fast run, simple. <laughs> Ridiculous. Anyway. Uh, how are we looking right now? No, not, 
as much as I was hoping right now as far as uh, money goes, but 5,000 shouldn't be difficult once I start seeing some of the, uh, some of the, um, elites, especially over in the wizard tower. By the way, I never really thought about it, I, but I knew, do now have actual, like, uh, ability to show people what I'm talking about when I say wizard tower in particular. Specifically the net hack one is what I'm trying to say. That's funny. Game, you are trying my patience. Well, yeah, in the last episode that I did of that, uh, which, I mean, is the final episode, at least for right now. Maybe eventually, but it's like, I should have just won that one, and that should have been it. It's like, yeah, you can actually see the wizard tower, which is, of course, like, 50 layers below the ground, but ignore that. There we are, and there we go. Alien key and elevator key in hand. I should be totally okay for getting out of here. It's just I o can only hope that I do happen to get a couple more uh, necklaces that I can sell then. Hmm. Okay, fine. Slow weapons are not the best to be fighting. Um... The, the slammers anyway. I should really stop trying to. <laughs> Good. I mean, it's fine. It's a little scary. Not that scary, though. I'll be, I'll be honest right now. I'm still looking Good. Good. Speaking of which. Interesting, but no. Not quite what I'm looking for. Now the real question is, am I going to be able to... Uh, Explorer's Instinct kind of messing me up there for a second. Okay, well, I guess I should probably go buy the cough syrup then. Just to be sure. Could also just take the invisibility route, but, you know, a little bit cheap. <laughs> As if I don't already know that. And one more for good measure. Now then. Eh. That stat distribution is going to really lower my health a lot. Probably should not um, mess around with it. At least for right now. I think I still got a pretty... Wow, that didn't actually heal as much as I was hoping it would. <laughs> um, hmm. Well, I think after this point, it's like, provide that I have the money for it. I only need like 2,000 gold, which might actually not happen at this rate. Oh, boy. Thinking about it right now. That it's like I um, might want to go and uh, re-roll my stuff, you know, get like that inside or something instead. Mm, this worked. Well enough. To an acceptable degree, certainly. Well, that's good, at least. Good, thank you. I was worried there that you would that you were going to be a little bit um gonna choose the wrong one. But thankfully you chose the right one. Thus prevent pre preventing me from taking a lot of damage due to librarian-related issues there. Again, I could just invisible my way through, but I keep saying that I'm not going to, and now I'm doing it. Think about it like this. I could also just wait until the uh, giant whistle is off cooldown again, over and over forever. <laughs> Consider that. Okay, well, I guess I do want the Hmm. Yeah, I do want the potion charge. More than the ability to re-roll for right now. And then I will just use that probably very early in the fight, if I'm being honest here, and leave it at that. Ah, well. Unfortunate, but not the worst, really. Maybe I could go around, try fighting some more enemies, seeing if there's some, uh, 
special something that I might be able to find, you know, some extra uh, jewels or whatever, but I don't think that's necessary. I'm just going to go leave it at that. Yes, of course, of course. I mean, if I got the 60 kills, that would also be nice too, but, you know. Not going to happen. Yep, my since I already re-rolled once. That's unfortunate, but it's fine. Frankly, I think I should be fine this fight. Unless I really screw something up. <laughs> we'll see. Just, you know what? Let's also just be sure. And make sure the malaise is not going to be a little bit too severe as soon as I get into the fight. But as it is, I think I'm good. This is going to be the first win that I got on uh, this in a little bit. <laughs> With the sort of... Uh, mostly due to the items that I've been using. Slow down and stun is pretty... It's working out surprisingly well here. And hey, I actually got the parry there. That was a weird one to get. <laughs> that was big weird parry time. Come on now. Come on. Should be cranking through his health. Because although he does get a, lot, get a lot of resistance over time, it's just like I'll be able to match up to the, the boss damage cap regardless. This is a weapon that scales well in this fight, is what I'm trying to say. Like, look at it go. Look at he go. <laughs> and also, just the Giant's Whistle, of course, does a lot of damage. Period. As you can see, it's like I'm chunking out the health. If, if you are trying to go for, like, killing without the panacea in the name of... Like, this would be a pretty effective way to go about doing it. I'm just saying right now. Ah! One of the few times I actually got hit by that. It's embarrassing. Stun also, like, really knocking him around a lot. Yep. And there we go. Is this not enough for you, really? <laughs> yeah. And I have done it before. He just goes down to 1 HP until you take a Panacea. Trust me on this one. I know. But it's like, it is with a very powerful version. This is not even like the most powerful version of this idea. yet. It's like, boy, oh boy, you can. Come on now. Good. Shoot. What? No. Oh. Oh, come on now. There we go. <laughs> Went radio silent there for a second out of sheer, pure terror. <laughs> like, that would have been such an embarrassing way to lose that one. Especially when you've seen how much damage it's doing right there. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah. Nope, that was, un I mean, despite, like, maybe some bad plays here and there, it's like, really, it's a nice, easy run to do, <laughs> comparatively. Not the easiest. I would still say you probably want to go with something like a... You know, uh, Alchemic Carbine, Hokuto's Bow, if you want the easiest run you can get. But for survival, I don't think you can actually do too much better than this. 